Carlos joining us now to talk about uh, some of the headlines in the global economy is Carmine DeCibio, uh, NY Global Chairman and CEO. We do want to talk about the, the, all the things that go on in Davos. I want to talk about just quickly about E&Y because you were on your way in, uh, off into the, the sunset at, at some point, right? And like G3, God, they, pull, they pulled you back in, did they yeah. not, for this split? But you got to do this split because you can't really... You can't do what you can do as a consulting business if you're auditing those clients that you're trying to, uh, to, to get as consultants. So it's a, it's a natural. You've got to do it, but it's expensive, uh, and it it's, you know, takes a while to, to orchestrate it. Yeah. Well, it definitely takes a while to orchestrate it, Joe, but uh, we're on our way. We think this makes strategic sense for EY going forward. It really allows both companies to grow and to grow more than what they're growing today. It alleviates a lot of conflicts. It creates more focused companies both what we're calling a short code, which will retain the name EY. That'll be very focused on our audit practice and practices around audit. Uh, and then and then NUCO, which will be a, uh, a public company. Right. Right. Accenture's right. taken. You can't use the... I can't use Accenture, can't no. Use Accenture. We, we will have a new I, name. I call a branding company and spend a lot of money uh, on the name. Well, I think we haven't spent a lot of money yet, but I have learned... Guys, the Nader's available. Naming companies is... There's a whole industry around... There, I know. It's unbelievable. It's, it's, uh, you you it's, come up with... I think so we are working on that. We are but it... it Sure, you, you guys get the audit business. We get the, this great, fast-growing consultant business. Why would they allow you to do that? That's, that's where the money comes in, that you have to compensate uh, that, that uh, side of the business. That's, um, that's not really... Our audit practice is very profitable. Uh, like, around not, gr not growing like the consulting business. It's growing less, but remember, growth doesn't equal profit necessarily. So okay. uh, our audit practice is growing, uh, and today is growing double digits, uh, our assurance practice, what would be a short go going forward. So we're very confident in terms of it doing well and, frankly, being very profitable. Uh, NUCO will have more opportunities to grow even faster because of what you mentioned, some of the conflicts, uh, and we think that's really important. You know, we audit, Joe, nine out of ten top tech companies in Silicon Valley. They're also the companies we could have alliances with going forward uh, on the NUCO side. So that's been an inhibitor in terms of our growth in consulting. Just the, the problems in, in the technology world right now. And the, well, yeah. yeah, and there's so much opportunity in the technology world. And, and today, you know, we have alliances with the ones we can have alliances with, but not with the ones we audit. So, so we audit, you name the company, Salesforce, Google, Amazon, we audit all those. Are you writing the headline for, for tomorrow on what's happening in Davos and what you're hearing? What, what is it? Surprisingly less pessimistic than I thought when I got here. Um, there's actually... I wouldn't say it's optimistic by any means, but there's actually um, less pessimism. I think people are starting to think that maybe uh, the major markets in the world are getting inflation under control. Uh, maybe with China opening uh, in terms of COVID, there will be more physical interaction between individuals, which will be helpful in terms of any kind of relationships, uh, in particular on the business side. Right. Um, as you all know, on the U.S. side, we as businesses are really trying to help in terms of helping the relationship with China uh, because we think that's important right. to the global economy. So more uh, optimism than I thought coming. Oh